Hey you guys, it's Lai, and I'm going to be playing Slain Back From Hell for the Nintendo Switch, which is a game I bought sometime late last year, and I really didn't play. I played, actually I played it a little bit, uh, but it was a little bit frustrating. I stopped, I played other games that I had at the time, and then I'm coming back to it. This is not going to be a let's play, but you know I'm going to be doing some captures here and there. Um, I played uh, the first level right now, and let me get a few things out of the bat. This game is hard. But not in the let me learn kind of hard. It's not like Dark Souls where it's it's forgiven, right? Like once once you learn it's it's okay. No, this is annoying. Annoying kind of hard. Just hard for the sake of being hard. <laughs> Which some of you guys are gonna say, well that's Dark Souls, but no, I mean the enemies respawn incredibly fast. You don't even have to move off screen, just take like one or two or three steps and bam. It responds and um, that could get in your way when you're fighting mini boss or like a stronger enemy that's right in front of you. And um, that got me killed more than once actually. I died a lot. This is a 33 minute playthrough which I was able to condense down to 4 not by speeding up but by just editing out all the times I died and taking all the way the filler because there's not much to the game. It's you're introduced to three different types of enemies. I think, no, actually five different types of enemies. Um, uh, and they don't do anything special. And then um, they're, they kind of look like enemies from Castlevania, like a skeleton. You get the Medusa head flying around, uh, a bigger skeleton. Um, and then you fight towards the end. Someone I call Groot or a Wisp from uh, Lord of the Rings. It's just really like a brute monster or whatever the hell that is. Um, I think it's trying too hard to be Castlevania. And um, in a time devoid of the Castlevania-like game, you know, you I would see why people would take it up uh, to themselves to create a game like that. But it's just missing. It's, it's just missing on everything. At least on the first level, I'm might need to play a little bit more actually that's probably what i need to do i'm in the second level already and i've played a little bit more uh and that's on a different recording but i'll get to that sometime later but this is not really going to be a let's play series because i don't think i'm going to finish the game i think that i'm just going to do a few more levels hopefully not bitch and see the greatness of the game but right now i just feel that it's just too hard to begin with you need to have a game that e eases you in into the world, not set you off. And it, it's just the, the 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 curve in the beginning. It's just really high. It's supposed to be exponential. You start low, and it just starts slowly over time, getting harder and harder. Uh, and for a very linear game, thus far, you don't get that. So, eh, it is what it is. But uh, I'll stop talking and I'm going to let you guys uh, finish seeing the playthrough. And um, if you like, leave some comments. And if not, then don't leave anything. I'll see you guys later.